Hi, I'm Maddie from Madison's Medicine, and if you'd like more information on this or any other techniques to empower your self-care, visit my bite-sized blog or even my home study modules on madisonking.com. Madisonking.com. Okay, so what am I going to talk about today? I'm going to talk about crystals. Crystals have played an enormous part in my life, and I love them to pieces. And one of the questions that people ask me is, how do you choose a crystal? Well, the simple answer to that is, you don't choose a crystal, it chooses you. A lot of people are tempted in today's online society to buy online, and indeed you can. But the very best way is to go to a crystal shop. Um, there's going to be one within a 20 mile radius of where you live, I'm sure. Go to a crystal shop and see which, just go in with an open mind. Set the intention that you're looking for the crystal that is absolutely right for you at this moment in time, because it's going to change, because your needs are going to change. Okay, and just take a nice deep breath when you walk in that shop, get grounded, and just, 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 just feel, just open yourself. What crystals, um, do you feel like holding and touching and, and and exploring more? Okay, which catches your attention? Okay, is there one that feels it's got a certain vibrational resonance with you? Um, which which feels as if it might be the one? It's like it feels like she's saying, man, doesn't it? Which is the one? Okay, this is one which I chose. Um, quite well, I chose this such I said recently, I chose it this morning, but I actually it chose me many, 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 many years ago. And as a right, it, it's untumbled and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, the other thing I would suggest is hold your crystal, okay, and and what does it mean to you? Work out what is it meaning to you before you you read the meaning of the crystal. What is that energy doing to you? What's it? How is it affecting you? Okay, because that is sometimes better than reading up and believing 100% what some author has written. There are fabulous books on crystals, and I do encourage you to buy them because it will stimulate your mind um, and your imagination about them. But first and foremost, one thing what's that doing for me? that's doing for me right now is it's really giving me a feeling of grounding and coming together. Okay, now you can do this if you haven't got a crystal shop. Have you got any rocks near you on a mountainside or a hillside or in the garden? Are you by the beach? I often, I'm sitting here overlooking the Mediterranean now, and I often go down to the beach and just do exactly the same on the beach shop. I call it the beach shop. This wonderful beach full of little stones. Um, often I find really amazing tumbled glass and everything. They all carry a resonance. They all come from Mother Nature and they can all help you. So have fun. Go out and find a pebble, a stone, a crystal, whatever it is. Love it. Talk to it you know, enjoy it, enjoy it. That's the word I'm looking for, enjoy your crystals. Okay, so from Madison's Medicine, thank you for joining me today.